بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ٹو لیکچر نمبر تھرٹی ون آف دا کورس آبجیکٹ اور انڈیٹ پروگرامنگ ان دا پریویس لیکچر وی ہیو سین ایگزامپل پروگرام اے لنک لیس اسٹوریج کلاس ان وچ وی رائٹ اے کوڈ فار اے کمپلیٹ لنک لیس کلاس اینڈ دین کنورٹ اٹ ان ٹو اے ٹیمپلیٹ کلاس اینڈ دین وی وی انسرٹ اور انکارپوریٹ سم ایکسیپشنس so a linked list is a list of node so in the slide you can see a single node that that contains two sections that is a very simple node a node can consist of uh, multiple sections but the important thing is that regardless of the data section so is is jahan par jo node show ho rahi hai isme ek data hai right you can have multiple data but there is a pointer that points to a next node right so for example uh, A node can represent a student record. A student record can represent a student record. Then it includes student ID, student name, father name, CGPA, and all those things. So, for just for the example, we take a simple node that just contains the data section, that is integer value, or when we convert it into the template, then it could be a floating point value as well. And then the second thing is the pointer that points to the next node. So we have a collection of nodes. that are linked together through a pointer so you have ptr pointer hai, that is a member of every node right and the type of that pointer is a node pointer because it points to a, a structure and then we have a pointer that may be called a first pointer or whatever name and the type of that pointer is also a node because it points the first node of the list like this right and the the last node's pointer ptr a, a, the value of that pointer is null this means that this is the last node in the list right so we we have seen so in this example we write a structure definition that contains a uh, data and node and the pointer next whose type is node and what is the node node is this structure struct node so you just next pointer hai हर नोड का पार्ट होगा हर नोड के दो पार्ट्स होंगे डेटा एंड नेक्स्ट पॉइंटर नेक्स्ट पॉइंटर की टाइप क्या है नोड है दिस मींस दैट दैट पॉइंटर पॉइंट्स टू अ मेमोरी लोकेशन वेयर यू कैन स्टोर अ नोड टाइप डेटा दिस इज द क्लास डेफिनेशन विद द प्रोटोटाइप ऑफ द फंक्शन सो द द मेंबर द ओनली डेटा मेंबर ऑफ द क्लास लिंक लिस्ट इज द फर्स्ट पॉइंटर the pointer name is first type is node right so this means that this first pointer points to a memory location where you can store node right so this first pointer could be this pointer the first pointer in the node that points to the first uh, node in the list right and then we have seen that we can add item at from the end and we can delete any item in the in the linked list and display Uh, the link list by moving the pointer right okay so in today's lecture we will start with the remaining part that is the stream and classes that i have told you in the previous lecture input and output stream we will see what is input what is output stream first what is actually a stream is and in computer science what we we call a stream and then io stream class ios class and uh, within ios class we, we will see formatting flags error status bit and file operations different kind of file operations stream classes so the question is what is a stream so for example you have heard about a water stream that is the that is the flow of the water from one point to another point right so that is called a water stream so stream in computer science is a flow of data right so sequence of byte so these sequence of byte or flow of data that is byte are moving from one direction to another direction this means that from one device to another device and that is called a stream right in c++ a stream is represented by an object of a particular class For example, the C in and C out stream object, C in and C out, these both are the object of I stream and O stream class. 
So different streams are used to represent different kind of data flow. For example, if you want to perform basic I/O operation, different streams object will be used. If you want to perform a file I/O operation, then different streams will be used, right? So C in C out are the basic uh, for the basic I/O operations, and uh, we have F stream that is used for the file operations. For example, the IF stream class represents the data flow from input disk file. So, अभी तक हम C in C out को अभी तक use करते आ रहे थे. So, what we do is uh, with C in uh, we extract from C in stream and assign the value to the uh, to the to the left side of that extraction operator. ठीक है, हम सीन को कैसे यूज़ करते हैं? We write C in extraction operator the name of the variable, right? So we extract the value from C in stream using the extraction operator and write it into the variable. And C out stream we pass the string to that C out stream using the insertion operator, right? Now, what is the advantage of streams? Simplicity. It provides simplicity. For example. Using printf and scanf functions, there is need to specify the type of input or output that is percent %d, percent %f, percent %c, etc. So whenever we write a printf statement and we want to want to print some kind of data, we have seen this thing in the previous course that we must specify the type of the data which is going to be printed on the computer screen. For example, percent %d. Then we specify in the variable list an integer variable. Right. Similarly, in the scanf function, if we want to uh, take input some value from the user, then we must write what kind of input we are going to take. Okay. So, हमको हमें ये तमाम चीजें we have to specify all those things with uh, with the percent d, percent f, or percent t, and etc. In C++, there is there is no such formatting character in streams, since each object already know how to display itself. Right. So I'm see in the expression and uh, we write the name of the variable. We won't specify that what is the type of the variable or what is the type of the input that uh, that should be provided by the user, right? Uh, because the object already know that what kind of input it is expecting. And similarly, in the C out statement, we just write uh, a stream insertion operator and the name of the variable, right? So this means that value of that variable is inser must be inserted in on C out on the O stream using a C out object, right? So there is no need to specify the type of the input or type of the variable if we are going to uh, uh, take input from the user or we want to display some value on the screen. So then overloading existing operators and functions. So using existing operator for a class in the same way as the built-in type that we can overload. The operators and use it in the same way as we are using the built-in data types. We have already seen this thing in the, uh, in, the in the in the topic of operator overloading. Now I/O stream class. Now I/O stand for input and output operation. I slash O. So I is input and O is output. Stream operations. Streams means flow of data. Input flow of data and output flow of data. Right, so it represents input and output streams. So in input stream, the byte flow from a device, for example, a keyboard to a main memory. So that is the input to the system. You write, type in something from the keyboard that is written into a, some special space in the memory that is called buffer, and uh, that is called the input operation. That is the input stream, right? And the output stream is in the output stream. Byte flow from main memory to a device, for example, display screen or a printer. That is called output. That from the, you write some instructions and then it take pick some byte from the RAM and send it to the monitor or send it to the printer, right? So it forms a stream. That main memory say the bytes move over here, screen ke upper ya printer ke upper. That that is a stream of data. This is the input stream. Hai. So keyboard say bytes. Input होरी है into and written in the main memory, so that is a stream of data, right? We have already used stream classes, that is extraction operator, 
greater than greater than sign is a member of i stream class and insertion operator that is less than less than sign is a member of o stream class so we have already seen these these uh, these uh, stream classes or use these stream classes to display some value on the screen or to input value from the user so i stream and o stream are both derived from a ios class ios is the base class of all the uh, stream classes and i stream and o stream and f stream and all such kind of classes we will see later in today's lecture they are all derived from ios class right so ios is is considered to be a base class of all the of all the stream classes so this this greater than greater than operator is member because it is overloaded this operator greater than greater than and less than less than operator this is called uh, left right circular shift and left circular shift less than less than is left circular shift and uh, these both operators are basically overloaded in i stream and o stream class respectively so they become the member of that class right so we can use these operator with the object of the that class and the object of i stream class is c in and o stream class is c out now see out and see in see out object it represents the standard output stream which is usually monitor so that means everything we pass on to the uh, o stream using a see out object so we insert value of variable or a string we write, when we write see out less than less than sign inverted quotes when we say hello world then we are inserting hello world string in a see out object that means it will display that string on the screen right so it is predefined object of a o stream w sign class so w sign class is basically which is derived from the o stream class so you have a ios class and then o stream class that is derived from the ios class and then we have o stream with assign class okay so o stream with assign class is the is the class of which c out is an object c out jo object hai wo o stream class ka object hai and that class is derived from the io uh, from the o stream class c in object it represents standard input stream which is usually keyboard right so whenever you write some character on the keyboard it will be written in some memory location so th this means that data is flowing from a device that is keyboard into a computer system and that's why it is called input stream right you are providing some kind of input to the computer system so it is defined it is predefined object of i stream class similarly o c out is also a predefined object you uh, this is not possible to 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 make another object of o stream or i stream class so it is predefined object of i stream with sign class which is derived from the i stream so c in is an object of i stream class we can say a stream c in is an object of i stream class because c in uh, uh, because uh, for c in i stream is a, a grand parent class right so c in is an object of uh, i stream with sign class and that is derived from the i stream class so object of a drive class can also be considered as an object of a parent class header files the two header files uh, we have uh, the one header file that we have used in almost every program that is hash include we write hash include and uh, uh, less than sign uh, io stream class and then greater than sign so classes used for the input and output to the video display and the keyboard are declared inside the header file that is called io stream right so that means o stream class definition and uh, i stream class definition there should be inside the i stream header file now f stream causes used specifically f stream classes used specifically for disk file operation that are declared in a file that is if you are kind of performing a i o operation with the file then you have to use f stream classes right so object using the object of f stream class you can either perform read or write operation from the or to the file io stream class io stream class is derived from both i stream and o stream by multiple inheritance okay so i stream represents the input operation input stream and o stream represents the output that is ram from ram to computer display so io stream class is derived from both i stream and o stream class it has it is a multiple inheritance so drive classes from it can be used for example for disk 
files that may be open for both input and output at same time right so jo f stream class that is also derived from io stream class now ios class that is the base class of all the stream class usually and it is a base class of all the stream classes and it contains the majority of the feature of feature to operate c++ streams so it contains uh, the major or uh, the the necessary feature to uh, to to in to 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 operate c++ standard right so ios class contains uh, mo most of the features ke jitni bhi streams hain c++ mein whether it is a basic io streams or it's a file io streams most of the functionality are contained within ios class right so three most important features are of ios class are uh, formatting flags error status flag and file operation modes so let's go through one by one from uh, all of these three important features formatting flags it is a set of flag in ios class so flags act as on off switch that specify various aspect of input and output format and operation so so these flags are for the formatting operation that uh, uh, how the output is, is should be displayed right and uh, we we can set a flag accordingly if we want to display uh, the output in a certain form of way right so there is a list of flags you can see those list uh, uh, in in your book in your textbook that is uh, by robert lefort so flag acts as on off switch so if there is a flag then Uh, for example if we set any kind of flag then uh, the output is formatted accordingly and if that flag is not set then the output is is displayed in the normal way so all the flags can be set using set f and unset using unset f ios member function so set f set flag and unset f that is unset io flag unset flag these both functions are the member function of the ios class so this is a list of uh, iso formatting flag skip white spaces ignore white spaces in the output left left adjust output right right adjust output internal use padding between uh, sign or base indicator and number decimal convert to decimal oct convert to octal and hexadecimal convert hex convert to hexadecimal bool alpha and show base show point upper case show position scientific use exponential format on floating point numbers right fix uses format on floating point number and so on so all flags are the member of ios class so they can be accessed using scope resolution operator that is we have to write ios then scope resolution operator and name of the flag if we want and we we can pass that to the setf function to set that flag and then uh, if we want to unset that flag we we just call unset f and pass it to the same flag it will unset that flag like ios scope position order operator skip ws skip white spaces so example so this is an example program in which we have an integer variable sorry floating point variable a 18.0 then we display its value then we set a flag that is show point so with that flag it should display the value of x in point and scientific scientific will convert that floating point variable into the exponential form right so let's let's see the program go to the program and see so this is a floating point variable let's say it is 18.0 then first we display the value of x then we set the flag show point then we again set display the value of x so here the value of x is a little bit different from the previous right because it, it it says that the flag says that it has to show some point that is the point 18.0 so this point is necessary in the output so set, see out then dot set f again we set a scientific flag then we display the value of x when a scientific flag is set then the uh, value of x will be will be displayed in the exponential form right 
then we up, uh, we um, unset show point flag and unset scientific flag so this is the syntax to unset c out dot unset f then we display the value of x and pause so let's compile it and run it sorry compile and run it change the font size So that is the output so this is the simple value of x then x with uh, with points that is show point and then 1.8 into 10 raised to power 1 e raised to power 0 0 1 so into 10 raised to power 1 so display the same thing right so 1.8 multiplied by 10 raised to power 1 then press then display the value of x 18 again because we unset those flags that we have set uh, previously that these flags are show points these flags are show point and scientific so in this example uh, we use show point and scientific these two are basically the the uh, the flags so show point uh, what what the show point did is basically if we print the value uh, of x over here it will print just 18 so show point kya karega ki wo ensure karega ki point lazmi display ho so it will display 18.000 and then scientific will convert x so we have flag set kar diye. scientific it means that now whatever is printed it it will be printed in the form of uh, e raised to power so exponential key form will print hoga. so here par x ki value exponential key form print hogi. then we unset this flag show point and unset the flag scientific and then print the value of x again so here par jo last me value x ki print hogi aur sabse pehle jo ho rahi hai both should be the same is point par jo x ki value print hogi that is with the decimal notation point and here the value of x is printed in the form of exponential that is e raised to power something right so let's compile this program and execute it now these are the values so this is 18 values print value print here then we use a flag show point okay because it is 18 Point zero, so it just print 18 that is that, that both are the same thing so when we set a flag show point then it must show point decimals in the number okay so uske baad jo bhi number aap see out me print karenge once the flag is set it will be applied to all the expression further okay jitni bhi see out statement aari hai jis mein aap floating point value print karenge us mein point lazmi show ga jab tak aap is flag ko unset ni karenge like this here Okay. and then it prints the value of 18 value 18 that is 1.8 into 10 raised to power 1 right that is 18 so why this is printed like this because you set a flag scientific so now whatever is printed uh, or whatever is inserted in the C out stream or the O stream object C out it is printed in the scientific form that is e raised to power some number so exponential form will be written when will be written you will not set this flag unset using a statement like this over here okay? and then after unsetting these two flags we just print the value of x so x ki value here will be simple way to print right now ISO manipulators and functions manipulators are formatting instructions inserted directly into a stream like for example end l so we isko shuru se use karte aa rahe end line so that is a manipulator there are some manipulators uh, where you pass uh, some kind of uh, integer value theek hai kuch integer value pass kar sakte hain usko there are some manipulators that that can take no parameters right so uh, an example of a manipulator is end line that insert a new line wherever it appears end line appears in the uh, o stream so output stream mein uh, jo uh, c out stream mein jahan par bhi end line 
मैनुपलेटर आएगा इट विल इंसर्ट न्यू लाइन करेक्ट फॉर एग्जाम्पल सेट वेट इट विल सेट द वेट ऑफ द फील्ड इन इंटीजर सो इन इंटीजर यू स्पेसिफाई दैट वट शुड बी द वेट ऑफ दैट फील्ड फॉर एग्जाम्पल द नंबर ऑफ कॉलम इन द स्क्रीन दैट इज इफ यू स्पेसिफाई टेन दैन द वेट ऑफ दैट वैल्यू इज टेन दैन right i will show you in the example the other thing is a function function can use to set the formatting flag and perform the other task for example width function so what you do is you call a function with the see out object like see out dot width and then specify the width right so there these are the functions and the manipulators you directly insert manipulators into the stream let's go let's go to the program think So, for example, in that case, if I if I write C out, we have already seen and L manipulator that we already know. Then now, if I compile the program and execute it, so. ये टेन स्पीसीज की इसने बना दीजिएगा वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन राइट सो ये टेन स्पीसीज इसने यहाँ पे इंसर्ट कर दी हैं सो दैट इज द एग्जांपल ऑफ अ मैनिपुलेटर राइट सो दैट इज नॉट अ फ्लैग दिस मींस दैट यू यू डू नॉट नीड टू सेट दैट फ्लैग वैल्यू क्या आपको इस फ्लैग को सेट नहीं कर सकते जिस तरह से शो पॉइंट एक फ्लैग था यू हैव टू सेट शो पॉइंट फ्लैग यूजिंग सेट अ फंक्शन दैट इज अ फंक्शन इन That is a function in uh, uh, OStream class, जिसको आपने OStream के जो ऑब्जेक्ट सी आउट उसके साथ कॉल किया है राइट सो सो दिस इज दिस इज जस्ट अ मैनिपुलेटर राइट सो इट इट विल सेट द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स लाइक दिस सो ये जस्ट एक्स पे अप्लाई होगा इसके बाद अगर आप कोई वाई की वैल्यू प्रिंट करेंगे यहाँ पर किसी वेरिएबल वाई की फॉर एग्जाम्पल इट वॉन्ट अप्लाई ऑन दैट वैल्यू ठीक है सो उस वैल्यू पे अप्लाई नहीं होगा वो Now let's look at the iStream class. It is derived from iOS. Perform it performs input specific activities or extraction. So we use the stream extraction operator with C in. So it will extract from the C in and assign it to the to the variable, right? So functions. These are the list of the functions. Some of the functions you can find the complete list in the book uh, by Robert Lefort. so the purpose of the stream uh, in uh, extraction operator is formatted extraction for all the basics and overloaded types so we can overload this operator for any particular type and then this is the function of i uh, uh, i stream class get ch extract one character into ch get str extract character into array str until new line character so these are basically the input functions that we can use right so these input functions belongs to uh, i stream class a complete list of such functions can be find in a book so get function with two parameters string and max max is the number so extract up to max character into 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 an array str so str jo array hai usme itne character a, a, a input stream se extract karke dal do theek hai it, it means get str max ka matlab ye hai ki input stream se max number of character read karke str string mein write kar de right so this is a small introduction of i stream class and o stream class it handles output or uh, insertion activities so we always insert uh, or perform insertion of a string or a value uh, of a variable that we want to print on the screen we 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 insert all those things or perform insertion operation uh, with the c out object theek hai so hum likhte hain c out less than less than sign and then the stream that we want to insert theek hai the things that we want to insert on c out object so whatever is inserted in uh, output stream it will be displayed on the standard standard uh, 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 output device that is monitor so less than less than sign is the formatted insertion for all the basics and overloaded types now these are the functions push ch insert character ch into a stream put ch sorry so it put a character ch into the uh, uh, output stream flush flush 
buffer contents and insert new line write so write from str the size number of characters into o stream that is the output stream so this means that it will print whatever is in the str कितने उसके बाइट्स प्रिंट करेगा साइज नंबर ऑफ बाइट प्रिंट करेगा एस टी आर के कहाँ पर प्रिंट करेगा स्क्रीन पर प्रिंट करेगा राइट फंक्शन बिकॉज राइट फंक्शन जो है वो एस टी आर के कौन एस साइज नंबर ऑफ बाइट्स को राइट करेगा आउटपुट स्ट्रीम में दैट विल एवेंचुअली डिस्प्लेड ऑन द कंप्यूटर स्क्रीन प्री डिफाइंड स्ट्रीम ऑब्जेक्ट्स सो सी इन सी आउट दीज आर द प्री डिफाइंड स्ट्रीम ऑब्जेक्ट सी इन इज एन ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ अ आई स्ट्रीम क्लास एंड Uh, see out is an object of a o stream class and uh, these are the predefined objects and we are using this of ob these objects since the beginning of the course so whatever we are inserting in the see out object it will be displayed on the screen and see in is used to perform the input operation because it will read from the input stream and write it into the इन यू द वेरिएबल जो हमने यहाँ पर स्पेसिफाई करेंगे इस जगह पर उस वेरिएबल में राइट कर देगा देन वी हैव सी एरर एन ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ ओ स्ट्रीम विद साइन क्लास सो ओ स्ट्रीम विद साइन क्लास हर आखिर में हमारे पास इस तरह से आ रही है सबसे पहले हमारे पास आई ओ एस क्लास है देन वी हैव ओ स्ट्रीम विद साइन क्लास राइट एंड आई स्ट्रीम विद साइन क्लास सो सो लेट मी सेट अगेन सो आई ओ एस सबसे पहले हमारे पास बेस क्लास है and then uh, we have a uh, i stream class and o stream class and uh, uh, o stream with sign class is derived from a o stream class and i stream with sign class is derived from a i stream class and basically basically c in and c out are the object of uh, i stream with sign and o stream with sign respectively ठीक है तो सी इन जो ऑब्जेक्ट है वो आई स्ट्रीम विद साइन क्लास का है दैट मींस जो आई स्ट्रीम क्लास है दैट इज इट्स द ग्रैंड पेरेंट क्लास यू कैन से राइट सो सो आई स्ट्रीम क्लास दैट इज दैट इज पेरेंट क्लास ऑफ अ आई स्ट्रीम विद साइन क्लास आई स्ट्रीम अंडरस्कोर विद साइन क्लास कि पेरेंट क्लास है आई स्ट्रीम क्लास एंड द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ आई स्ट्रीम अंडर स्कोर विद साइन क्लास आर आल्सो कंसिडर एज एन ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ अ आई स्ट्रीम क्लास सिमिलरली ओ स्ट्रीम क्लास इज एन ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ अ ओ स्ट्रीम अंडर स्कोर विद साइन क्लास एंड ओ स्ट्रीम विद साइन अंडर स्कोर विद साइन क्लास इज ड्राइड फ्रॉम द ओ स्ट्रीम क्लास सो वी कैन से दी आउट इज एज इज ऑल्सो एन ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ अ ओ स्ट्रीम क्लास so c e w r is an object of uh, o stream with sign class and that is for the to display the error message now what is the difference between the c out and c e w r is that display output it display output immediately rather than being buffered as c out is so c out ke through aap jo bhi display karte hain that will be put into the buffer and it will be display accordingly one by one theek hai c e r ko hum buffer mein nahi rakhte whatever is uh, inserted in the c r object it will not be buffered rather it will directly displayed on the priority basis onto the computer screen then we have another uh, predefined object that is c log object an object of o stream underscore with sign class and that is for the log messages that is so it it doesn't write anything on the output it doesn't write anything on the computer screen it where it write it write it into the file into the buffer right so whatever happening in the program you write all those messages inside the buffer or the file then you can read that file to check where the error could be right so these are all the predefined object and now stream errors so the statement like uh, the shown in the box first is display the message c out enter a number then c in we we take the input in a variable var so this approach assumes that nothing will go wrong during the io process so all the things will be perfectly fine but that is not the always the case so what happen if the user enter string 9 instead of integer 9 so input jo vr ki jo type hai that is integer so the compiler is expecting that the user should input an integer value so that it will assign that integer value to the vr variable but if the user input the uh, uh, value that is not an integer for example string n i n e then what happened with that assignment of uh, assignment because now 9 is the character and vr is the 
integer variable now how that assignment could be applied so at this point it should it should it should uh, uh, rather provide uh, give a message to the user that the type of the input is not valid right so error bit state error status bit so stream error status flag reports error that occur in an input and output operation so these are the error status bit good bit that means no error end of file bit reach end of file fail bit, fail bit operation fail user error or a premature EOF EOF is end of file right so bad bit invalid operation not associated stream buffer and hard fail unrecoverable error right so let's see an example of uh, inputting a number so in that example we ask the user to input a number then we check that uh, if there is any error while in while the input that is we validate the input and if that is not a number then we ask the user to input again so that is the program So we have while one loop. So this means it will always ask the user to input an integer until the user input a valid integer. So when a valid integer is input, then C in dot good. So good, if we go back, so good bit means no error, right? So this means that there is no error in C in. That is in a, a input stream, I stream. It's not error nahi hai because the uh, value user input gave that is an integer value, right? So then we remove a new line character at the end of the input and break the loop. Loop ko break kar denge. The break hoga this while loop exit and the control comes outside the loop. And here. Let's say we display the value of that variable i is equal to i and line. Okay. And then if the if it is if it is not an integer, then the control will come over here. It will clear the bit error, display the message, the incorrect input, and remove the new line character from the output. From the input. Jo bhi input apne kliya tha, usme se new line character ko it will remove it. Right. Why it should remove it? Because so that your next jo wo input lena cha raha, that is also a character. If the new line character is there, it reads the integer value, but the new line character is there in the buffer, input buffer, and then it, when it asks again to input some kind of in, some integers, so it reads that new line character from the input buffer and won't wait for the user to input any number, right? So let's say if I run it, run this without without this 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 last line seen dot ignore iske bagair agar isko run karke dekhe then it will not prompt the user at this point to input some value right because in the buffer the new line character is already present and it will read that character as an integer and continue right so this will happen in every iteration so now I comment out these things and it will form an infinite loop. So let's compile it and execute it. Let me change the screen size. Okay. So integer value, enter an integer value. Let's say we input 12 i is equal to 12 press any key to continue so now there is no error here so this good function returns true value true and we ignore we remove the new line character from the integer and then we call a break statement it will break the execution of the loop control will come over here it will print the value of i and then system pause right now if we compile it again and now this time I, I input a uh, character and press enter key. Now this starts infinite loop. I have to press control C key to, to end this process. 
right so why this is because we haven't removed new line from the end of the uh, input and this means that every time the well, next iteration may be input uh, because input complete ka bogi when the new line character is present in the buffer right that is the point where the input is completed if the new line character is already present in the input buffer this means that the compiler assume that the input has already been complete and it read that input value now if i compile this program and execute it if i input integer value e it said that input is in, uh, incorrect input now it won't make an infinite loop because we remove the new line character from the end in, in. right now it's come to the very important topic uh, that is the uh, disk file io with streams so in c in the previous course that is in when we are learning c uh, we have seen that we perform the disk io operation uh, all the operations for example writing characters writing a formatted uh, text numbers and uh, the binary input and output we perform all these operations using a function but in c++ we perform all these operations using stream so disk io streams are i f stream for input f stream for both input and output i f is the input file stream and o f stream is for the output right so so these classes are declared in f s f stream header file so this means that whenever we create an object of a, a i f stream class we can perform input operation on a file and we have to declare f stream class or include f stream class before that theek hai to hame f stream class pehle include karwani hai kisi bhi in classes ko i f stream ya f stream ya uh, o f stream class ko use karte hue theek hai so input is is basically the read operation from the file you perform a read operation from the file and output is you write something in the file that is the output operation okay so input is a read that is you are reading something from the file in your program input to your program and output is your program is writing something on the file that is the output operation that is the write operation so object of these classes can be associated with disk file that use that use member function to read and write to files so hum koi object bana denge inhi classes ke and we associate these object with the file and that is a file opening operation right and then using those objects we can call a member function of a class to perform read and write operation on those classes theek okay? hai now formatted file io in a formatted io numbers are stored on disk as a series of character right so everything that you write on a formatted io uh, everything stored in the file in the form of a character whether it is integer whether it is float double long any kind of value that is stored inside the file in a form of character for example 896.026 so that is a floating point value so it takes 7 bytes instead of 4 bytes so that is the major drawback of uh, of using a formatted file io because all everything is stored in the form of character and if we want to file very large numbers in a file then using a formatted i file is not a preferable or efficient approach then we must go for the binary io operation so this is in in efficient for number of uh, for numbers with many digits right so aise numbers jo aapne write karne hai and they consist of a large uh, uh, they are very large numbers then instead of uh, 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 कि वो नंबर जो हैं वो या डिजिट्स जो हैं या इंटीजर फोर बाइट्स लेंगे दे विल ऑक्यूपाई मे बी मोर बाइट्स बिकॉज दे आर लार्जर दे कंटेन्स मोर देन फोर डिजिट्स लेट से राइट सो बट इट इज इजी टू इम्प्लीमेंट राइट सो फॉर एग्जांपल इफ यू हैव एन इंटीजर वैल्यू फोर नाइन सिक्स सेवन एट जीरो so six integers and it will take six byte in memory but uh, in a formatted file io but in a binary file io it will take only four byte in memory so so that's why it is it is sort of insufficient in efficient approach if we want to store uh, a large number in a file now writing data in a file we can write 
characters integer double and string to our disk file so we create an object so writing a liye that is the output operation you are writing something from the your program into a file so you create an object out file the object of of stream class output file stream class ka object ek naya output file the name of the file is fdata.txt it will create fdata.txt file and open that file now using out file object you can perform read and write read write operation in the file because we open because we create an object of of stream that is the output file stream so we can only perform now output operation using out file object that is associated with f data dot txt file so if we want to write something in the file we just insert that thing in 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 output file for example humne ch a character as ki value write karwani hai so we use insertion operator and insert the value of ch in out file stream so what it did, does it will write those 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 uh, those that value in ft data dot txt file let's go to the program and see in more detail so that is the program we have a character we have an integer value we have a double right and then we have a string 1 and string 2 right hello world hello and world then we create an object out file that is an object of of stream class and we associate it with a file fdata.txt now we start writing inside the file that is it's it's same as if you are writing to the o stream right aap c out uh, object ko uh, pe write karna uh, uh, basically a uh, insertion operator use karke on the mom values ko insert kar rahe hote hain c out object ko assign kar rahe hote hain and that is an object of uh, o stream o stream class and what it will does everything that is written on that stream it will display it on the monitor so everything that we write on the out file it will display it will write that thing in the file ठीक है किस फाइल में लिखेगा जो फाइल इसके साथ आपने एसोसिएट की है सो इन द स्टेटमेंट अब वी हैव एसोसिएटेड एफ डेटा डॉट टी एक्स टी फाइल इफ दैट फाइल इज नॉट प्रेजेंट इन दिन द डायरेक्टरी वेयर वी हैव सेव दिस फाइल इट विल क्रिएट दैट फाइल एंड यूजिंग दैट ऑब्जेक्ट वी कैन राइट एनी थिंग कैरेक्टर इन टीचर फ्लोट स्ट्रिंग वट एवर वैल्यू इन इन दैट फाइल यूजिंग दैट ऑब्जेक्ट राइट सो यू स्ट्रीम इंसर्शन स्ट्रीम इंसर्शन ऑपरेटर So this is a space character and other space character, right? So if I compile this program and execute it, so it display the message that a uh, file is successfully written. But let me change the font size so that it is visible. Okay, so file written. This means that file is written successfully. And if we go. to the file to the that to to that directory and this is the file x77 space 6.02 6.02 so x77 space 6.02 hello space world so all those things are written over here right okay So that is how we can perform uh, a, a write operation in a formatted uh, 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 file. ठीक है जिसमें तमाम के तमाम चीज़ों को एज ए इंटीजर ट्रीट किया जाता है वेदर दे आर इन कैरेक्टर इंटीजर्स डबल फ्लोट और स्ट्रिंग्स रीडिंग डेटा फ्राम अ फाइल सो फॉर दैट वी यूज वी हैव टू क्रिएट एन ऑब्जेक्ट आई एफ स्ट्रीम द नेम ऑफ दैट ऑब्जेक्ट इज इन फाइल जिस जिस नेम से मजीद बनाना चाहे बना सकते हैं एंड वी एसोसिएट दैट ऑब्जेक्ट विद द एफ डेटा डॉट टी एक्स टी फाइल द सेम फाइल जिसको हमने प्रीवियसली जिसमें हमने डेटा राइट किया था नाउ वी क्रिएट एन अदर ऑब्जेक्ट आई एन फाइल इन फाइल एंड दैट इन फाइल इज एन ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ आई एफ स्ट्रीम फाइल दिस मीन्स दैट आई एन एफ ऑब्जेक्ट इन फाइल ऑब्जेक्ट के थ्रू वी कैन परफॉर्म Uh, uh read operation from the file we can read the content of the file right so the file is opened when the object is created so we can then read from its from it using the extraction operator 
so we can use in file and then extraction operator then the name of the variable where it should write the name the 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 value of that variable theek hai kahan se read karega file se read karega value aur us variable mein write kar dega variable mein write karne ka matlab ye hai ki wo memory location jo variable ke liye allocate hote hai wahan par wo write kar dega so with that operation now we know ki sabse pehle jo value humne store ki thi file mein that is a character value and then the integer value and then a floating point string and string right so we know the format of the file ki kis tarteeb se record store hue wahan par right so then we read it so it read from the inf uh, in file in file the first read value is the character then integer then floating point value then a string then a string right so let's go to the program so that is the program so this is the write operation this is the write operation so there is one more question as a, as in c whenever we open the file in read or write mode whatever then after the program exit we must close the file as well theek hai this is the point where i emphasize a lot ke humne file ko lazmi close karna hai but here in c++ there is no need to close the file because whenever that object goes out of scope the um, destructor will be called for that object and this is that uh, we we close the file right so jab main function exit hoga is ye function is object ka scope khatam hoga destructor call hoga and automatically that destructor will close that file right now here we create these character integer and a double and then string 1 and string 2 object theek hai humne ye tamam variables bana diye because we know ke jo file mein data tha wo kis formatting se pada hua tha because humne isko write kiya hai we know the formatting so f stream ka ek object banaya in file associated with f data dot txt and that file is already present this file so that is the record written in that file and then you read one line from that file so f in in file se read kiya first value it should assign it to ch second value to j third value to d fourth value to str1 and fifth value to str2 right so for f to reading in, in from the uh, uh, formatted file you must know the uh, what is the format of that uh, file ek line ka format kya hai kaun si integer value store hui hai kahan par character value hai kahan par floating point value hai and then we display those values theek hai hum usko display bhi kar diya okay now let's compile it and execute it so it prints all those values and they are the exactly same as we have written in that file right x 77 6.02 hello world right so this is how we can perform the reading operation from the formatted io file now what about the string with embedded blanks can we perform the same operation that is can we write a string with embedded blanks uh, in that file अगर हमारे पास स्ट्रिंग है हमने लास्ट एग्जांपल में देखा वी कैन राइट अ स्ट्रिंग बट कैन वी राइट अ मल्टी वर्ड स्ट्रिंग यूजिंग द सेम मैकेनिज्म ऑफ ऑफ राइटिंग इन द फाइल एज वी हैव सीन वन स्लाइड बैक सो फॉर एग्जांपल इफ आई गो बैक इनटू द राइटिंग डाटा एंड गो टू द प्रोग्राम एंड राइट इट वर्ल्ड write the word xyz theek hai kuch xyz likh diya humne yahan par so now when i compile the program and execute it so it i'll return press and key to continue so if i go to the file you can see that it write hello and then world and then space xyz now let's 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 see whether the read program is able to read that string or not in string 2 
नो इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल टू रीड अ मल्टी वर्ड स्ट्रिंग ठीक है यूजिंग द सेम 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 ऑपरेशन इस ऑपरेशन के थ्रू हम मल्टी वर्ड स्ट्रिंग रीड नहीं कर सकते फ्रॉम द फाइल सो सच रीड ऑपरेशन वुड नॉट वर्क विथ स्ट्रिंग हैविंग ब्लैंक स्पेसिस टू हैंडल सच स्ट्रिंग वी स्पेसिफाई डेलीमीटर कैरेक्टर आफ्टर ईच स्ट्रिंग मस्ट बी रिटर्न हर स्ट्रिंग जो फाइल में लिखना चाह रही है उसके बाद एक डेलीमीटर कैरेक्टर लेट से न्यू लाइन कैरेक्टर इंसर्ट कर देते हैं एंड देन यूज इज गेट लाइन फंक्शन रदर देन द एक्सट्रेक्शन ऑपरेटर टू रीड टू परफॉर्म अ रीड ऑपरेशन सो रीड ऑपरेशन गेट लाइन के थ्रू करेंगे ठीक है एंड विच वी कैन स्पेसिफाई द लेंथ ऑफ द इनपुट सो सर स्कीम क्वाइट रिक्वायर दैट ऑल लाइन इन द फाइल टर्मिनेट एट नल कैरेक्टर क्या सो हर लाइन जो है फाइल की वो नल कैरेक्टर पर टर्मिनेट हो रही दैट इज रिक्वायरमेंट डू नॉट वर्क विद रैंडम टेक्स्ट फाइल बिकॉज रैंडम टेक्स्ट फाइल में हमारे पास कुछ इंटीजर वैल्यू पहले आ सकती है देन टेक्स्ट वैल्यू आ सकती है राइट सो डेटा उसमें रैंडमली अरेंज हो सकता है सो इट वॉन्ट वर्क दियर सो इट विल वर्क इफ वी इफ वी हैव वी एग्जैक्टली नो वट इज द लोकेशन ऑफ अ स्ट्रिंग एंड एंड फ्लोटिंग पॉइंट वैल्यू एंड मल्टी वर्ड स्ट्रिंग राइट ऑल दोज थिंग्स सो लेट्स लेट्स गो टू द प्रोग्राम एंड चेक सो दिस इज अ राइट ऑपरेशन सो हेयर आई यूज अ कंडीशन कंडीशन कंपाइलेशन कंडीशन का पैलेशन यूज किया है इफ डिफाइन राइट सो लेट्स डिफाइन राइट इफ डिफाइन राइट इट विल एग्जीक्यूट ऑल दिस स्टेटमेंट्स एंड देन इन द एल्स पार्ट इट वोट एग्जीक्यूट दिस स्टेटमेंट्स वाई बिकॉज बिकॉज द राइट इज ऑलरेडी डिफाइन इफ डिफाइन राइट राइट इज डिफाइंड सो इट विल ओनली एग्जीक्यूट दिस पार्ट बट नॉट दिस पार्ट ठीक है सो लेट्स कंपाइल इट एग्जीक्यूट इट to display the message file writing press any key to continue let me change the screen size okay now if i if i just comment this hash define राइट अगर इसको कमेंट आउट कमेंट आउट कर दें अब नाउ दिस बिकम्स फॉल्स बिकॉज राइट इज नॉट डिफाइन देन इट एग्जीक्यूट दिस पार्ट right so let's compile it close and execute it so try it all the those lines that we have written over here theek okay? hai detecting end of file so end of file ko aap do tarike se detect kar sakte hain the one is not in file dot uf if we go back here in the program so we can have here dot e o f ठीक है so the output will be same right so if if we just write even the simple stream object the output will be the same right so let's go back to the slide so we can use either not in file dot uf or we can use while in file so it will it will check the stream object directly in the second while loop it will check the stream object directly and it check uh, for any character condition any error condition including end of file so end of file will be error occur ho jayega so agar error occur ho jayega it the, it will returns false okay so that is the end of our 31st lecture so in today's lecture we have seen a different streams and classes so from the in the next lecture we will continue with the file operation thank you very much allah hafiz